Not gonna lie, boys, this is gonna be a heavy one. I want to tell you something that's been keeping me up at night. The inescapable feeling that our world is moving towards simplicity at the cost of understanding. It's hard to ignore the constant flood of information, the rush to keep up with the ever accelerating pace of technology. We always want to find the easy path through something important and impactful to us, whether that be a university class or saving enough for a house down payment or weightlifting. What is the study guide for vector calculus? What is the best mortgage broker for low rate? What is the best way to do curls to get jacked? And I can't blame anyone for wanting to take these paths. Life is horrifically short. Time is the true universal in the human experience. We all have goals we set for ourselves and the thought and consequences for not meeting these goals have big ramifications. Financial strain, mental stress, lost opportunities, you know. It's somewhat like a race against one opponent, which is time, that you stay in front for most of the race, but that you will ultimately lose and you know that you'll ultimately lose. This perspective makes everything feel like a bunch of meaningless hurdles and many students feel like education is one of those hurdles. I do want to give you another perspective though. In this race, I think we are sacrificing the depth and nuance that makes us truly understand the world around us. We should always keep asking ourselves, what is even the point of this race itself? Why are we against this opponent time? I can't shake this worry for the future though, that this fear that we're on the verge of abandoning complexity in favor of bite-sized, easily digestible answers. It's not a large step from the quick fix economy we are currently in to completely forgetting everything that makes complexity beautiful. One of the few things that keeps my hope up at night in this darkness is the channel you're currently watching, the subject of computer science theory. There's an elegance to it, a method to understanding and wrapping ourselves around inherent complexity in pretty much everything. Like physics, I kind of describe it as a sexual relationship with the universe. We determine what the universe's secrets are at a fundamental level and prove them. Being able to prove something about the universe, not that only it has a secret, but what they actually are, and communicating that fact to others is one of the great joys in at least my life. But there's one key piece missing here. What are we trying to prove these secrets for? Who are we trying to convince? Ourselves? other CS people, the general public? The universe is a cruel mistress who does not care if you happen to know what the pumping lemma is. Here's the thing, you may be a student in CS theory or have long forgotten it and it's unlikely you find this channel accidentally. <laughs> Regardless, I wanna to talk to you about this class a bit. You may have wondered why in higher education we have devoted time and energy into teaching you certain things like theory or math. I certainly have thought about this and I did not really know the answer for far too long, even though I have taught it many times. The fact is, any competent person teaching you math or theory will never expect you to remember much specifics. There is something much deeper than this. No, the answer to why we teach you theory or math is so incredibly simple, shockingly so. Like, I couldn't believe how plainly obvious it was. Why we teach you all theory is exactly the same answer as to why we teach you math or really anything else, in spite of the vast majority of people disliking math or theory. Here's the secret answer. We want you to be critical thinkers and to think for yourselves. Like, that's it, that's the answer. In the world of 5G truthers, flat earthers, anti-vaxxers, effectively anyone who categorically denies objective reality, we really need those who can logically think for themselves and to teach others to do the same. We all have dealt with misinformation, especially in a year like this one with the US election. The purpose of giving you tools to analyze, question, and understand the world around you is one of the most valuable gifts 
I think anybody can receive. It's not even about knowing how a specific algorithm works or how to prove some claim via induction, but let's think about those two. Why do we teach you about induction? It's really about how to verify a claim and show whether it is true or not. Why do we show you how to analyze an algorithm? Because when you're out there working for some company, you need to vet the correctness of their software, especially the parts that you write. But moreover, it's about thinking critically and thinking for yourselves versus automatically believing some other claim. In the theory class specifically, once you get to the point of understanding why all the concepts we teach you are there, you'll have a true enlightened experience. It's honestly amazing. I call it the Zen of theory. Once you get to see how everything is connected, not just in theory, but literally everything, everything is connected, you'll start to see connections you'll never would have found otherwise. There unfortunately has been pushback from students for decades in technical classes like this to make it easier or change the direction or just outright remove it from the curriculum at some places I've seen. And there's been lots of research done to determine why this is the case. And I don't think there has been any research that definitively gives the answer. Like. I get how this class can be hard. I've been through it and it hasn't been that long since I've been in this class. I know what it's like. I didn't experience things any differently, but there's something different within recent years and there's far more pushback than I've ever seen, especially in the last two years. And I wanna tell you about a recent discovery that I've made. See, when one person writes down a proof, they're trying to convince someone of why something is true. That's the purpose of a proof. And they give a number of logical steps to follow. So A implies B, B implies C, combine C and this other thing to get D and so on. It's a series of logical steps in any proof. However, that proof doesn't come from nowhere you need to go through the process of producing the steps yourself in order to make that proof, right? Effectively, you have to become the computer. Here's my discovery. In classes that lead up to CS theory, you likely have written programs that you've fed a compiler or a parser and it ran your program, right? How do you know that it was ran correctly. How do you know it does exactly what you asked it to? You don't know for sure unless you step through everything and you're not in control of everything, the operating system. Is. You have to put your trust into the computer and everyone else who wrote systems like them before you. But when you're writing down a proof of some claim, you have to be the computer and so therefore you have to trust yourself. And given the rate and range of new information that's just out there, I think there's a fundamental loss of students' trust within themselves. And I honestly can't blame them for this. To account for this, I'm going to change my course of action whenever I interact with students in CS theory that I should try to inspire confidence and trust within themselves. Okay, all that I ask is this. Will you promise me that you will be a critical thinker and to think for yourselves? I and the rest of humanity hope that you do. Please let me know of your experiences in CS theory or math courses. I would love to hear about them. As always, thanks for watching.